Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Straight Outta Content brought to you by Flash Custom Transfers. And today I'm gonna to be going over the difference between DTF, whether or not it's our direct-to-film transfers or any other commercial grade direct-to-film transfers versus screen print transfers like companies like Stahl, Supercolor, and TKO Transfers. This isn't a discrimination video. This isn't a video to promote our product or just show you or, um, or to discredit another company. All these companies are good. And if they are in your area and they are able to help boost your sales and your business, you should purchase from that company. So I just wanna go ahead, I wanted to make this video because we get a lot of questions of Plastisol and types of inks and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and let's get into this explanation video on the difference between DTF, direct to film, from a commercial grade printer and screen print transfers. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, so if you aren't aware, we here at Flash Custom Transfers, we manufacture DTF transfers. That's these transfers right here. As you can see, this right here is a 22 by uh, 24 gang sheet. This is a full size gang sheet. I created this. I actually haven't cut it out and put it on any merchandise yet, but this right here is called a, this is what we would send to you. If you were to just order one, $19.99, we would send you this right here. As you guys can see, this adhesive on the back is not Plastisol. Um, it's not screen print. A lot of people get that uh, misconstrued. A lot of people get that mixed up. So I'm here to kind of do another video on the difference between a DTF product from a commercial grade printer versus companies like Supercolor Stalls and TKO Transfers who are making screen print transfers. So just to start, DTF stands for direct to film. It's a modern way to create high color images so that you can cut it out and transfer it onto apparel. Now it can go on any apparel, you name it, it can go on apparel. I think like leather might be one of the things it can't as far as apparel. So you've got like leather jacket or something like that. I don't have any experience with pressing it on leather, but I'm pretty sure it could be. You just have to be very delicate with the heat and press process. So as you guys know, if you're watching this video, you probably are wondering what's the difference between DTF and companies like Supercolor or companies like TKO Transfers who are really starting to make a huge wave in the industry with their very inexpensive transfers. And that's great. All of us in this, all of us who manufacture, not just YouTubers, but all of us who manufacture, we are all basically in the same boat. We are all aware of all the other companies. That's why this video isn't out to bash anybody. This video is just out to educate people so that you know the difference between our product and somebody else's product. So with our product, it is a DTF transfer. So we use it short because direct to film is very long. But with that being said, it is a, oh, what you doing? Sorry, Miss Flash Custom Transfers decided to come down. So it is a DTF transfer. With that being said, to, to us, there is a difference within the direct to film world. There is a difference between a DTF printed on a commercial grade printer. So basically 20, 24 inch printer. And then the DTF transfers that are printed on like an at home or like an eight by 11 printer. There's a quality difference there. And there's a lot of people who only go as far as that printer, that small printer, or even if they spend five to $10,000 on an at home DTF printer, they then make content and it kind of waters down or makes people think, well, that's not the way that I want to go. And then whenever they see a company like a Supercolor Stalls or TKO, they're like, oh, great. They provide the same thing that I'm looking for. But in all actuality, it's not the same. It doesn't mean that it's not a good quality product. That's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is just the difference in DTF and uh, screen print transfer. So I, I have both, both of these are, are DTF transfers. As you can see, this is always a white back. It's not Plastisol. And 
it's going to print on top of the special adhesive. DTF deals with adhesive. All the other companies that I named, they deal with a white screen print base. All of those shops all have big screen print things, no different than a regular traditional screen print place, which has one or two color inks. And then they take a big screen print thing that they burn the image into, and then they put it down, and then they have to squeegee it. There's, they have just created a faster way uh, in a kind of a bigger way in order to get you something that looks like this, but does not perform the same as a commercial grade DTF printer. So we're, I'm gonna start off, I'm trying to not to make this video as long as possible, but I'm gonna just kind of give you guys a jump back into DTF commercial grade printers, the types of printers that we have, the two and four head printers versus the at home, you know, go to the store or find one on Amazon or find one at some company, Epson or something like that, and purchase those printers. So just in the world of DTF, there is a major difference between a commercial grade, 20 plus thousand dollar, two or four head printer, and then those printers. And I just don't want you guys to get discouraged and think that, oh, I've seen a video on DTF. So therefore, that must be all DTF. If it doesn't come this big, right? If it doesn't, if it doesn't come at least 22 inches across, because it's a 24 inch printer, but there's a stream that runs on the side of this that you have to trim off. So it's really, it will print 24 inches, but then there's uh, three colors that have to keep the that have to keep the printer heads wet. Again, these are just all the, the technical things that go into the commercial grade printers. So don't expect the same quality. If somebody says, yeah, or your community says, yeah, I can do DTF, but it's not that good or something like that. They don't have the same equipment that companies like myself do. And there's other, so there's, there are some other companies in the country that also have similar quality printers. And a lot of people are starting to buy them up. And a lot of people are starting to try to get into the industry, which is great competition. I mean, uh, people getting into the industry breeds competition and that's good. Competition breeds sales. So uh, my wife actually had somebody, one of our customers who let us know that in their area, somebody has a DTF printer and they're offering DTF services. Uh, I think even maybe even at a lower rate than us, even though we dropped a rate and nobody really jumped on it, maybe even at a lower rate than us. And that's great. If you have somebody in your area who's providing the types of transfers that you need, whether or not they're screen print or whether or not they're DTF, if they are able to accommodate your business, use them. Of course, we're always going to promote our product as the best product out there and try to get you guys to be a part of our team and just try our product and let the product speak for itself. Again, we're a small business. My wife is sitting over there on the couch and I am filming on this iPhone 13. We created the, the backdrop behind us. We are a small business trying to compete with these large businesses and it's extremely difficult. So yes, we have to use certain tactics in order to get people out there. But at the end of the day, I mean, yes, we have to use certain tactics in order to get our name out there. But at the end of the day, we are just trying to grow our brand with this product that we spend a lot of time and money and, and late nights as I'm filming this video at 10, 15 at night and I still have to go to the gym and I still just packed up all your guys' orders that I have to go out tomorrow. So guys, there is a big difference between commercial grade DTF and at home DTF printers. And then there's an even bigger difference between screen print transfers, which again, not by any brand or anything I'm not, what I'm about to say is not knocking any brand. It's just knocking the process of a screen print transfer. We don't even have to talk about screen print transfers. If we just talk about just base screen print t-shirts, that's it. Just base screen print transfer, uh, screen print uh, t-shirts. They will crack over time. There's no, you've never seen a screen printed t-shirt that has lasted the test of time. If you buy a screen printed t-shirt on January 1st of whatever year, by March or April of that year, if you've washed and worn it, it's gonna start to crack and fade. That's because it's literally an ink being squeezed into the shirt. There's no adhesive. 
there's, there's, you get what I'm saying? There's no adhesive behind it. Now, the that went the regular screen print process got leveled up because people wanted multiple colors. People wanted to be able to print an image like this right here. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. People wanted to be able to print full color images like this, full pictures. People wanted to be able to print things like this, right? Pictures like this, images like this, like our logo. People wanted to be able to do that. So a lot of smart minds got together and they created screen print transfers, which is a process of you're using the same square things. And again, you guys can see, if you don't believe me, you can see companies like TKO, uh, TKO they have a video where uh, one uh, YouTuber influencer goes into their warehouse and they walk you around their warehouse and they show you that's where we burn the image. And then it goes to this big process right here. And then it's, and then it's printed and then it's put onto the transfer. And that's the reason why they have very cheap transfers of one or two colors. I'm not gonna get into people's businesses or why they have that. All I'm saying, and I've said it in a previous video, is you have to watch what you pay for. If something is that cheap, like that inexpensive, it's that inexpensive for a reason. Do you want it for your business? That is up to you. If you're doing something very quick and, you, and, and they can provide you and get you the lowest price and you do not care what happens to that shirt, by all means, go ahead and do it. If you're doing a family reunion for yourself and you got 58 family members coming and you need a cheap transfer really quick, that's gonna cost you almost nothing after you know after minimum purchases or whatever. Uh, also, we don't have minimums, but, and you need to go ahead and do that. You only need one or two colors, by all means, go ahead, do it. It makes sense. If it makes sense for your bottom line, go ahead and do it. But if you are making, if you are making uh, apparel for other people, you might want to up the quality of that apparel because that person who wears it is going to expect, is going to have certain expectations attached to that apparel. So the process of these other companies, they use a substance called plastisol. And that plastisol is not what is on the back of, the, of this DTF transfer. There is no plastisol involved. The inks that are used in DTF, well, I can't say all DTF printers, because you can buy cheaper inks, but our inks at Flash Custom Transfers are water-based inks printed on top of this special adhesive, as you guys can see. Extremely, hey, hey, mama, can you bring me a, a, that pink shirt that has the Flash Custom Transfers logo on it? See, as you guys can see. So, the commercial grade. So I don't know what other adhesive people are using at the smaller. I can't really comment on those on those printers. I know our printers have the big 24 inch printer and then it prints to, thank you kindly, and then it prints to, it prints out and then it's printed on and it goes to the oven and everything and stuff like that. So these other companies, they have, they have to use a substance called plastisol to get it to adhere to the shirt. That's what they're using. Now, again, I could mention DTG, but that's gonna be for another video, DTF versus DTG. But in the world of transfers, right? Uh, something that you will get sent in the mail, you cut out and you press on. In the world of transfers, all those other companies that are screen print transfers, if it cracks without the plastisol, it's still going to crack and fade over time with the plastisol. The plastisol just allows it to adhere fir more firmly and so that it can be sent to you in a, in a transfer. That's, that's the difference. Now, some companies might not use plastisol, but they still have some sort of adhesive that they use to adhere their screen print transfer logo, whatever it is that you've created, to the garment that you plan on pressing it. That's the reason why a lot of them are hot press to activate that special adhesive that they're using. We know that stalls and, um, and TKO definitely use plastic, so I'm not too sure about uh, super color. And even if I would, even if I was, I wouldn't necessarily mention it. 
on camera um, because they're very specific about what they use. So I'm not going to accuse another company of using something that they clearly state we don't use plastic. So I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure that's on their website. But in and I digress. Whether or not any of those companies use Plastisol or not, it's still a screen print base. So it's a screen, white screen print base, and then they're able to print on top of it. So as you notice, both things have a white behind it. This adhesive for DTF, it, it is white. It is white, but it's a flexible adhesive. And it's a more durable adhesive because the water-based inks are bonding with the adhesive. That's why DTF printed from a commercial grade printer, whether or not it's ours or somebody else's, you can't do this with any other process. You cannot do this. And I have a video with the kids stretching it and running it over with the car. This process is specifically attached to commercial grade DTF printers in that process. You can do this or you can try to do this. You can try to do this with a stalls, a super color, or a TKO transfer. You can try to, please try to. But I promise you, if you do this over time, it's gonna crack, fade, peel. It's something's going to happen. It's going to get damaged. Whereas in DTF world, this right here is the big selling point. Outside of the high vibrant colors, outside of the large sheet, you can't create a gang sheet like this with screen print transfers. You just can't. Like I said, even if you have a DTF manufacturer or somebody who has a commercial grade DTF business in your city, take advantage of that. Then you'll, I mean, we have free shipping right now and everything over $99, but I'm not here to force you to purchase our transfers. That's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to educate you on the difference between DTF transfers and screen print transfers. And if you decide to purchase from us, great. If you decide to go on Google and look up DTF companies in your area and get your transfers to them, great. Please do that. That's the purpose of business, is to share with other people the knowledge that you have so that as we grow as a business, you can grow as a business. And maybe one day you will come back to us, or maybe one day we will end up doing business with you. That's the purpose of these videos is to help you guys out. So again, you're not, you're, even if you do get, and remind, so that you guys are aware, gang sheets from these other companies did not come out until we started to promote the DTF gang sheet. Just so you guys know, there are big companies that did not start 2022 with gang sheets. Just so you guys are aware of that, that happened because of our growth. So we influenced these companies that, screen, that do screen print transfers and do a very high quality screen print transfer. They do a very high quality screen print transfer. I'm not gonna act like that they don't. They make a extremely well quality screen print transfer. But, when, but just because you make something extremely high quality, you may have a Ferrari versus a vet, right? but which one can you put 100,000 miles on? You're not putting 100,000 miles on a Ferrari or, or a Lamborghini. You, even if you look at a 2008 Lamborghini right now, I can guarantee you it doesn't have over 20,000 miles and it 50,000 miles max. And it probably, the maintenance on that thing was probably insane. Whereas a Corvette, there's billions of Corvettes with 100,000 miles on them from all the years. Yet, so they're great cars. But one is durability, that engine, that LT engine, or that LS engine that they have in the Corvettes is legendary. That's why it's put in other platforms. And I get, I'm just using Chevy, but I'm just saying that they're two different great cars. Ferrari makes an amazing vehicle. You pull up in a Ferrari, it's amazing. It is amazing. But as far as durability, which one is gonna last you longer? It's gonna be the Corvette. So it just comes down to your, cho to your choice um, there's also some other nuances there, but like I said, as far as, and there also used to be a higher minimum with some of these other companies. They have to offer a minimum, whereas with us, our company, we do not offer minimums. You can just purchase one sheet, $19.99, and you could just try it out. So however, whatever you can fit on this big thing right here, whatever you can fit on this entire sheet, obviously I was able to fit, these right here are, are 10 by 13. 
inch images and I, and I actually designed them for hoodies, but they don't fit because of the pocket at the bottom. So I would have to put them on shirts. They're huge. I'm 6'4". You can see how big this image is. And I was able to fit three of them plus some other big straight of the content logos. You can't get a sheet this big at any other company. They're trying. They are trying to make a sheet that big, but I can guarantee you that the minimums are going to go up. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope that I answered a lot of people's questions. I hope that I didn't come off uh, like disrespectful to any other companies. Again, I just truly believe in our company and like a lot of other people out there who start small businesses or like a Kanye West or something like that, somebody who like truly believes in their, in their product, this is, this is the product that I truly believe in. And I, I, see, I see other products and I'm like, well, I know that their product can't do this and I know that their product can't do that. Please, like I said, if they are in your area and you don't have to pay for shipping, you can just go and pick it up, go do that. But for the people out there who have no clue of DTF or DTG or screen print or screen print transfers or vinyl, or people who don't have any clue, I hope that this video has helped you understand the difference between direct to film transfers from a commercial grade printer versus screen print transfers. Okay, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I gotta go to the gym and I'm super starving, but I won't eat till after. So guys, if you have any other questions, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. Also, email us if you have any questions. I order now at flashcomsfromtransfers.com. Do not forget that our transfers right now are $19.99 and free shipping for anything over $99. That also applies, use that code free ship if you are getting the buy five, get one free sale, I mean promo, or if you are getting the buy 10, get two free promo. Don't forget, and for orders over a certain amount, uh, if you order like a certain amount of transfers, we could definitely adjust that price for you guys and it'll definitely have free shipping. We can definitely adjust that price for you so that you can have um, more, uh, more room in your budget uh, for the job that you're doing, if you're ordering a certain amount of sheets, if you're ordering, you know, a lot of sheets, we will definitely discuss uh, through email. So just if you if you do have a large order, think about emailing first, say, listen, I have this huge order, can you guys send me an invoice? What can we do? And we are definitely willing to work on that price with you guys as we continue to grow our business. So thank you guys for all, all you guys who are watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for all your well wishes when Shelly and I were going through our illnesses everybody's healthy. I'm back in the gym now so that I can keep my immune system up and Shelly's uh, tooth is healing very fine. She has a meeting next week. All right, guys, thank you for everything. Don't forget flashcustomtransfers.com. Be basic. Peace.